Hi, I'm Dr. Caitlin Keller with Unconstipated Kids, and we are here to help you help your child improve their bowel and bladder health so that they can keep their underwear clean and dry. Stay tuned and watch more. If we acknowledge that a mama in labor trying to birth her baby, if we acknowledge that when we tell her to relax her jaw open, that that helps the baby to descend faster in labor, that means that we acknowledge a connection between the jaw and the pelvic floor. And so if it's true in one instance of labor, then that means that it must be true outside of that instance as well. And so if your child is experiencing bowel and bladder dysfunction like constipation, daytime pee leaks, nighttime bedwetting, there is a possibility that their tongue mobility, their coordination of their mouth, their jaw joint ability to open and close correctly, that the alignment of all those things, that that could be contributing to their bowel and bladder symptoms. And so what we're gonna do today is talk about a way that you can do some assessment of your child at home and maybe practice these same things to see if you can help their mobility and strength and coordination of their mouth, jaw, and tongue to improve. Now, I am a pediatric pelvic health physical therapist. I am not a myofunctional therapist or a speech language pathologist. However, I do have a speech language pathologist, a myofunctional therapist who is local to me, and she has approved all of these things. So she specializes in myofunctional therapy. Myofunctional therapy is essentially physical therapy for the mouth, jaw, and tongue. So that is what she specializes in. I've worked with her very closely. And so she has given me the thumbs up of what this screen is. To begin, we want a baseline understanding of how wide your child can open their mouth. So you're going to ask them just to open their mouth as wide as they can, say, ah, we want to be able to see the uvula, the little dangly thing in the back, make sure it's not de deviating to one side or the other. And then once we take note of how wide that is, then we want to compare it to a couple things. So put the tongue behind the front two top teeth and then open your mouth. We want that to be about 80% of their baseline opening. If that's difficult, you can have them open their mouth first and then try to touch behind the teeth. Oftentimes this can be really challenging and so your child may not be able to open their mouth as wide or they can't coordinate the ability to lift their entire tongue. Maybe they're just using the front part of their tongue. So that tells you maybe they need to practice this a little bit more the coordination and the strength to lift it up. It also might tell you that there's a posterior tongue tie but that goes beyond the scope of this video. So the next step is to look at clicking ability. So we want to see if your child can create some suction, some negative pressure in their mouth above their tongue. So you're gonna ask them to click their tongue. You wanna see continued nice wide opening of the jaw at least 80%. And then you want them to be able to generate that pressure. I like to ask them if they can pause before they're gonna click and see if they can hold that position also. The last component is tongue mobility. So starting on the outside of the lips, can your child move their tongue in a circle, both directions, clockwise and counterclockwise, and run their tongue on the outside of their lips? Ideally, when their tongue moves to the top of their lip, you want there to be space. So they're not using their jaw or their lower lip to lift their tongue up to touch that top part. And then the second component is their tongue pressing out while their lips remain closed. So they're going to press their tongue out and run those same circles in both directions. Unconstipated Kids has a mission to serve and help families that have children that are struggling through toileting dysfunction or dirty or wet underwear, bedwetting, any kind of dysfunction related to bowel and bladder health. And so I really hope that this video is part of your journey to helping your child have better health and a quality of life where you don't have to think about their, their toileting anymore. And so um, if this was helpful to you, drop a, a like or a comment in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sign up for our email newsletter. And then also, if you're still needing some support, check out our website for our other service offerings to see if there's anything that resonates with you.